Hello everybody, this is Drew. Today we're going to be doing a new series with Tabletop Simulator. How I like to use Tabletop Simulator and what this series is about is about using it to create awesome Dungeons & Dragons maps. So I am the DM, the Dungeon Master, of my D&D group. And we used to revolve through several DMs. Uh, currently we're on our last revolution and up next is me. During my revolution, I would use Tabletop Simulator to make some really cool maps for my characters to play in. Usually we would use a more kind of drawing style uh, where we just like open up OneNote and draw grid lines and like basic sketches of maps, but I wanted a little bit more immersion and to make something really, really special. And I haven't seen a lot of people out there that are making content to explain how to do this. and. It's definitely something that took a lot of learning on my part, so I figured it would be a good mini-series to do. So to start off, we're going to buy Tabletop Simulator. It's really cheap. I think it was like 15 bucks when I caught it. Um, and you're going to go to the page in your library, and you're going to look for this, this wrench. And so this is the workshop. So Tabletop Simulator, what makes it special is it has an incredible modding tool. So tons and tons of mods are made, all of them free. So you can get cool, like, entire board games to play on Tabletop Simulator. But then there's also a really good modding community just for Dungeons & Dragons. And so I'm here to show you a cool way to use those mods. And so we're here at the workshop page. Uh, here's our most popular tab, most subscribed, yada yada. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go through an example with you all on how to go through getting your party set up for your Dungeons & Dragons. So huh, let's, let's create a, a party. Um, so I'm going to say that our theoretical party is going to be one orc, um, one dwarf, and one elf. And so I'm going to look up elves in here. And it's, it should come up with some pretty good examples. And so here's Vess's PC pack elves. So you can click on that. And it gives you a preview of what's in here. There's some really good examples of exactly what I want. And so I want miniatures that I can use for my party. So here I'm going to click subscribe. I'm already subscribed, so you'll see it there. And then we're going to continue on. So I've got, I've got elves that I can pick from. Now I've got a dwarf to look for. Uh, Kings of War dwarf armies... Uh, this is looking pretty good. Um, so I'm already subscribed to this too. And then lastly, we have Orc. Miniatures Orc. Uh, I really liked Vess. He, he has some, he or she has some really good mods out there. So I'm going to look, yeah, Vess has, has an Orc pack. Uh, you can see it's exactly what I'm looking for. Um, pretty cool. So I've already subscribed. So going back to my library and we're going to start up the game. I'm going to go to single player and uh, we're going to go to workshop now. So we're going to look for, this is what I just subscribed, that King of War Dwarf Armies. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to load it up. Gonna take a bit to load up. Mine's slightly faster right now because I've already loaded this before, so everything's cached. Uh, so here's here's all these miniatures. This one's a little bit finicky because, however, this game is structured, all of these things move together in one big formation, which is cool and like I'm kind of interested in that game uh, because it's more like armies versus armies. Um, but I'm only interested in the person. So let's say we have a a dwarf uh, fighter. Um, that's actually happens to me my uh, character in D&D. I'm Fargrim Baldurk, the Dwarven Fighter. Uh, so what I want is I want this guy. Um, he's currently tethered to this, so I can't really like fling him around. But what I just want to do is just go save object. Uh, this is the default name they have for him, but say I'm, I'm making Fargrim. So there's that. Um, and I'm going to save him. I probably already have a Fargram, so I'm going to do Fargram 1. Save, and there we go. So now later on, when I'm making my maps and stuff, I can go to Objects, Saved Objects, and here's Fargram 1 that I just saved. So there he is. And now we can pick him up, pick him up, 
I have Q and E tethered to rotate, and F is flip. Um, flip isn't super useful. You can use it like if you're if you're quick about hitting F and then releasing, you can use it to like kill people so they they die and just fall over to the side. It's not exactly beautiful. Um, but there are some really cool animated figurines that tabletop simulators actually made. So when you pick them up and stuff, they will run as you drag them around. Um, I can actually show you an example. So I'm going to go to saved objects. I have some fighters already collected in a bag, and I'll show you how to make some a bag like this. So I'm going to search through my bag. Uh... Where are we? So here, we got some moving guys. So there's there's actually already an orc right there that I can use. Um, he's blocking, but you can see him moving all up and down. So he's got several modes that you can change him. So now he's like combat ready, blocking. You can have him attack. It's pretty cool. You can have him die. So instead of having to flip him over, that's much more uh, like much more involved, much more exciting to see. Now if I pick him up and move him slowly, he's gonna walk. I can turn him around. Now I'm going to move him fast and he's going to start running. He's flailing his axe all over. He's ready to get some work done. So that's a cool way to do orcs. Um, but issue being, there aren't many of these. There are a lot of these. So for the sake of fairness, so that one party member doesn't have a significantly cooler figurine than the others, my entire party that we're making is going to be made up of these guys. So now I've got my dwarf. Uh, and let's say I want to start making a bag with my party. Um, a bag similar to this, where I could just drop it in. It has everything in there that I want. So I'm going to go to Objects, Components, Tools, and Bag. And just drag it, drag it there. So now I'm going to right-click this, and I'm going to name this. So what should my name be? We'll, we'll call them uh, the protectors yes enter there we go so now I've got this guy I'm gonna toss him in to the protectors so now I'm done with grabbing dwarfs and I'm gonna save this so I can continue to add to it later so I'm gonna save it auto populates with the name of the protectors save there we go so now I want to move on I want to get my dwarf or not my dwarf my orc I'm gonna go to workshop Looking for those orcs. Uh, where are we? Orcs. Load it up. All right. So we're all loaded up. It even has a fancy chest for us. Uh, we don't really need to use that. Or actually, let's do that. That could be cooler than the bag. Um, so we're going to say our orc is a wizard. Not your traditional orc of being some grunt that just flails around. We got a, a cool wizard. Big, tall, big beard, big staff. So we're going to name him. Uh, we'll say this man is Urn. Filled with the ashes of his dead enemies. So we're going to save him. We have Urn saved so that we can just pluck him out whenever we need him. So I can just go to objects, saved objects. There's Urn right there. So now I've got the protectors, but I think I want to migrate them to this much cooler chest here. So I'm going to dump the protectors, grab Fargram out of here. I'm going to make him bigger with a plus. Uh, oh, he's got... Oh, you can even put in stats here if you want. Um, might be helpful as a DM just to have stats of somebody ready. So make sure his name sticks as Fargrim. So there, you can hover over it, you see Fargrim, there's Urn. So I want to use this chest for the party instead. So I'm going to dump Urn, dump Fargrim, name this The Protectors. There we go. I'm going to save object. So now it's going to be like, hey, you already have the Protectors right there. I'm going to overwrite this because this is cooler. Last but not least, got to get our elf. So going to look for elves right there. Load. All right, so we're gonna have we're gonna have a female elf, and she's gonna be an archer. So we've got some cool examples here. 
this will suit us just fine. Uh, friendly, or this is a little bit more cool. So we're going to have this, and we're going to name her. Uh, she'll be L. Uh, we're going to save L so that we can pluck her wherever we want. Objects, saved object, the protectors. Here we are. Going to grab L, throw it in, and resave it. Overwrite. So there we go. We've got our party. They're ready for action. So now, whenever we open up a new map and we want to plop our party on down, I can, just for the sake of being thorough, plop down the protectors. I can either pluck one by just using left click and dragging away. I can right click it and search it. And I can see what's in here. I can get what I want immediately instead of being whatever's at the top at the time. And then also you can hold left click. It'll raise up the box and you can move it else wherever you want. And that's that. So there we go. We have our party ready to get to some action.